We are at Enemod with Dave and Greg, who are going to, uh, who are going to show us something about the new ATS analog tape serial data and what is different to other units of that kind. Okay, this unit is based on the uh, mathematical models which I developed while researching uh, tape machines for eventually what became a plug-in for DigiDesign. But these mathematical models, I found that we can do mathematics that will create an analog unit based on the mathematics that will work exactly the same way as the uh, digital model, but in the analog domain without any latency. And so this unit has room to have two different tape machine types and four different tape formulations which you can mix and match. Right now, the unit comes stock with the ones you see here, 3M Studer, GP9456, and it, uh, it allows you to mix and match those types. You can set the operating level to be 0 dB over 185 nanoweavers per meter, all the way up to plus 12, which changes the meter reference, and then you can set your inputs to uh, line up with that reference. Um, we, you can change the tape speed, which sets the head bump, which uh, you can see here is measured. This is actually measured from the unit itself. Right here we have the 30 ips in blue head bump for the 3M tape machine, and the one in pink or red is the 15 ips. And you can see this peak moves here by an octave, and that peak moves down here into the roll-off by an octave. This is actually taken from this machine, and that's what the speed control does. It switches between the uh, different curves, which affect frequency response and mainly the head bump. Um, on the front panel, there's a stop and record button, which is our way of saying bypass and active. Uh, there is also some adjustments which can be made to the bias. Zero means the nominal bias, which would be 3 dB over biased for uh, GP9 at, at uh, 15 ips, say, on the Studer. And low frequency, which uh, zero is flat, and then you can offset from there. HF, high frequency on the reproduce side, you can adjust that as well. We've added hiss, in case you want that. <laughs> it can be adjusted all the way to zero. Um, and uh, this is basically the unit. It's a dual mono unit. You have uh, separate controls for both channels. The only ones that are common are these ones that you can tweak the sound with in the center. The key feature to appreciate about the unit is it's an all analog unit. There's no DSP, there's no microprocessors, there's no D to A or A to D to conversion in the unit, which means there's no latency. You can use it for tracking in real time. You can use it on the mix bus and monitor off of it to, to, to actually change the balance of your mix because the machine will change how sounds fit in your mix, change the relative balance of different sounds, and that's one thing that we recognized happens when you, when you record two-track analog tape, and we hear it also with this box as well.